This is Dr. Jenny and this is the third video in Unit 2 series. As you can see here, these are the problems that were assigned in my finance lab and they say similar to, which means if we go through the concepts in the textbook, when you reach this problem, you'll have some experience in solving it. So let's go to problem 813. In problem 813, we're working with beta. Beta is one of my, um, I think, one of the most interesting things about stocks. Uh, you can look it up. You'll see a beta listed for uh, different kinds of stocks. So it's really important to understand what it is before we solve this problem. From the textbook, it says beta, uh, it references the Greek letter B, measuring the extent to which a particular investment's return vary within the returns of the market. So in th this case, just so you know, a market has a beta of 1, so individual stocks are always measured against it. In this case, if we have a beta of 1.2 for our Intel, it's slightly riskier than the volatility of the market, so that means we should expect a slightly higher return. Um, just so you know, I thought this was interesting. Intel now has a beta of a 0.93, which means it's less risky than the uh, market and you'll ha expect a slightly less uh, return. Now to calculate the expected return, and we're using what's called the capital asset pricing model. You see it up here called CAPM. What we do is we take the risk-free return plus the beta times the market minus the risk-free rate. And so the risk-free rate is determined essentially on treasury bills uh, you can look that up in your textbook, but it's uh, essentially a way to come up with what the risk-free rate is. And I believe these are just made up risk-free rates and made up uh, expected returns um, because this is a pretty high return. And so what I've done down here, uh, and let me actually increase that so you know I am using the right number there. You're, I'm taking the 3.5% the risk-free rate and put plugging the beta in there and then um, have the market minus the risk-free rate to come up with an 18 that half percent and uh, you know careful when you answer this because it's computed using the expected rate that doesn't necessarily mean that's the rate that you would get um, and then if you want to read more about beta I've actually included a link here to invest investopedia um, I've probably talked a little bit about Investopedia before, um, but, uh, you know, essentially Investopedia is a, a great way to uh, understand uh, all kinds of things, like there's tutorials and, and videos on um, basically any type of subject. Um, they have uh, lots of great videos, uh, and that's something I would suggest that if you get a chance and you're, um, you know, have dif having difficulty with any of this, go to Investopedia. I like the way they explain things and it, I think it will make it easier for you if this seems like a foreign language. Okay? Well, thanks for listening.